I, I think it's huge to get back to work and uh, you know just that's why I told them right there after practice you know the world don't stop for you no matter if good things are happening to you or bad things are happening to you and right now we're in a in a crisis situation so it was great to get them back in yesterday and get back out and and help with the cleanup and you know and then just building our city and our campus back and you know maybe we might make a small dent in that and be a part of it and then it's good to get back out here and you know get to work you know football wise because every team in the country is practicing spring ball you know they're, they're not going to wait on us you know so uh like i said just to get back and, and get their minds away from it and get back to ball a little bit and you know take our pads and our whistle off and go get work clothes on this afternoon get right back to working so it's our new normal right now and it's going to take a while to you know find a balance in that you know it's not life you got to find a balance in you know and work and everything that you do so we got to find a balance in the in the cleanup process and and, and also in in taking care of the football part and, and not doing too much of one of, either one of those but you know we got guys we got 40 guys that's displaced uh, housing. We got 22 guys that lost everything. So, um, you know, just like a lot of other people in towns, lost their whole house, their whole world's turned upside down. They're living in a hotel. So it's bad. You know, I mean, I talked to somebody this morning. They said, "Is it really that bad?" I said, "Yeah, it's that bad." And I think the people don't realize that with, uh, you know, no lives lost. They don't realize how bad the, you know, the damage is and the, the rebuilding process isn't going to happen overnight. It's going to be a process. It's going to be a long process. So this is probably our new normal through the spring and the summer and, you know, and, and doing a little football and, and helping a lot with the cleanup part. So I was real proud of our guys getting out, all our, all our sports kids on campus, even this, you know, getting out and being a part of the help. You can't. You can't look at it and see it and not want to help, you know. And uh, like I said, to get out and help some homeowners and help clean up campus and things like that. Like I said, we can't do it all, but we can be a be a part of it. And I think there's there's givers out there and there's takers out there. And some people are always going to be a taker. They're not going to help any. But we hope we're doing the you know teaching our guys to, to be givers and and have a servant's heart. So I think they did a really good job. I seen guys went by every place we was working yesterday and they were working their rear ends off. So I was really proud of them in doing that. I'm, I've been proud of our community how everybody's just you know working hard to, to get this thing build this thing better bigger and better than what it even was you know some things you can't replace uh, I'm just glad, glad I talked to one player got in here on Sunday night that lost everything he's so happy to be back and you know he that was his home I mean he had everything that he had in that apartment uh, the blessing in that if he'd been in that apartment he'd be dead right now so it's a good thing with his own spring break but you know he's lost everything he's got you know always memorabilia stuff and all those stuff but you know tears in his eyes tell me hey that stuff can be replaced so it's good to get him back out here on this field you know, to get his mind back to a normal type routine, our, our new normal, and then go help other people. And, you know, so we got guys that's lost everything that's out helping everybody else. So that, that's a good thing. And uh, like I said, we're just going, I appreciate all the volunteers that's coming here and helped. If you've been here Saturday and you'd seen the, the thousands of people in town, around town, helping with the cleanup, it, it'd do your heart good. You know, and I know there's some people out there that's, that's not going to do that. But uh, just to let people be aware of, you know, it, it is, uh, it's devastation. I mean, you, we, we need a lot of help. And I hope people don't forget about us in that effort. And, you know, a week or two will go by here and everybody will forget about it. But it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's going to take a long time to repair this stuff.